So the great thing about Audacity is the fact that number one, it's free, and number two, it works on both the Mac and the PC. So it's a great way of showing you how to get started. Of course, there's plenty of other software platforms out there. There's free platforms out there as well that you can use, and they all offer a hugely varied feature set. So you want to start simple and then start looking at what other things you want to add into your production, whether you want to mix in music or special effects and stuff like this, and other software might make it easier. But I just want to show you the absolute basics and show you how easy it is to record a podcast right now. So let, we've got Audacity all set up on my screen. And the first thing I need to do is to make sure that I'm actually going to be recording from my microphone. Now, my microphone I mentioned is a Yeti, Blue Yeti USB microphone. So I've set that up in this setting here, this drop down menu here. I've picked my microphone, which is that one. The other thing I need to do is to make sure that I can actually um, hear audio, which is coming out of Audacity when I want to listen to what I've got. So I'm going to select my speakers on here as well. So simply set your speakers and your microphone. The other thing that people often do is that they'll start recording and it's like, well, nothing's happening. What's going on here? And you want to look up here to the recording volume. And that will set the level at which your voice is recorded. So if I'm talking at this level right now, you will see, I'll show you in a moment. Let me just demonstrate it to you. I'll click record and you can see my sound waves are being recorded on the screen. So that's my uh, the level at which I'm talking. And if I put up the recording volume, you see they're off the chart. They're absolutely distorted. And if I put it down too low, then, in fact, my microphone's so loud, you can still see a little bit. But by adjusting that, you can get your levels just right. The one thing you never want to do is have anything like this, because if these waves are going over the top, it's going to sound all distorted and an absolute mess. So we are ready to go. It's that simple. So we've done our selected our microphone, we've selected our speakers, and we've selected our recording volume. The next thing we need to do then is to well record our podcast. So let's do a demonstration here. So good evening. You are listening to the WordPress.com podcast about podcasting. And in this podcast, we are going to talk about how to edit on Audacity. One of the problems though is that sometimes you make mistakes when you're doing a podcast, so we need to edit that out. Thank you very much for listening and we will be back next week. So not exactly the most exciting podcast ever, I am sure you will do a lot better than that. But what we need to do now is to start removing the different elements of this. What I can do is I can put my cursor by selecting this one here onto a part of the sound wave and by hitting the space bar I can listen to what was recorded. here. So. Good evening, you are listening. Now, I don't want that little bit at the beginning, so I'm going to literally highlight it by just dragging my mouse over it and clicking delete. So now we've got a nice, clean start to our program. The next thing also was I had that bit there where I said that I was making mistakes so about listen to podcasting. It. And in this podcast, we are going to talk about how to edit on Audacity. One of the problems though is that sometimes you make mistakes when you're doing a podcast, so we need to edit that out. Thank so there's my sentence. Now, let's say I just don't know want that one, so I'm going to highlight that sentence. I'm going to click delete, and it's gone. So if I click play again on Audacity. Thank you very much for listening, and we will be back next week. So you would never know, so I'm going to click the end off it as well, and that's my entire podcast done. So what else might you want to do? I can export that now and I'll show you that in a second. But what else might you want to do? You might want to, for example, add in some music. So in which case I'm going to go file, import audio. And uh, I've already prepared this music, so I'm going to import that now. And we've got a nice track underneath here. So let's have a listen. You are listening to the WordPress.com. But you can hear that that music is just a bit too loud at the moment. So I'm going to use this tool up here, the envelope tool. And by putting my mouse over this, the sound wave, I can drag it up and down and make it quieter and softer. But there's another thing I can do too. Let's say I wanted to start my program with a bit of music and then I want to fade it down but have it running under my voice. So I'm gonna use the time shift tool here and I'm gonna drag this along a little bit. Also gonna zoom in a bit so we can see this a little bit better. And what I want is my music to start at full volume, and then I want it to fade down just here when I start talking. So let's put it up to full volume. And I want this bit up to full volume, but I think you can see already what's happening here. Is that by grabbing on that line with this envelope tool, I can then quieten it down. So what I want it to do is I want it to be full volume here, and then I want it to go down so that you can then hear my voice. 
So let's select the main selector one again. And if we have a listen now. Good evening, you are listening to the WordPress. Could probably be a little bit quieter again. So again, I can just highlight on there, drag it down even more, and have a listen back to my bit. Good evening, you are listening to the WordPress.com. Lovely and clear now. Now, obviously, I don't want the whole of that music in there. So let's say that I have just a little bit of an introduction and I want to get rid of the rest of that track. So I'm going to highlight all that and click delete, just as we did before. I can use these little tools at the top as well, these zoom in tools, to allow me to zoom in and out. And let's say now I want to just fade that out completely because I don't want that going all the way through my program. So you can see there how the sound is going to adapt. If I hit play. Good evening. You are listening to the WordPress.com podcast hear about the music podcasting. So my podcast is ready to go. Now, the other thing you can do, of course, if you've recorded an interview on Zoom or something like that, then you can use that same tool again, just like I did with the music, to import your audio file that way. And then you can edit it in exactly the same way. So let's say you, you want to get rid of an um or an er. So, so you wanted to get rid of this little bit here. You can do it exactly the same way. You highlight the shape of the um or the er, and you'll be able to hear it, and you click delete again. And that will take it out. So let's see, how do we actually store our audio file now? Click on export, and then in the case of most vast majority of podcast apps, you want an MP3. So I'm going to click on that one, and it's going to bring up a little window, and then I can save my podcast. So I'm just literally going to call it like that. My podcast, an MP3 file. Now you can set your bit rate. Now this is a quality. All you really want to think about here, it doesn't matter what KBPS means, all you want to think about here is the sound quality. And I mean, 192 is ample enough sound quality, particularly for a mono file, so where you've actually got just a clean, single track, ample quality. So I'm going to click Save, and as you can see, it's going to be mixed down and exported as one mono track, which is fine by me. Click OK, and that will now save to my hard drive, and that will be ready to go.